Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? But first, let me tell you how to make a rye Manhattan. Now, a rye Manhattan is probably, out of all the whiskey forward drinks, I'm not a huge whiskey fan, let me admit to you between us, but of all the whiskey forward cocktails, a rye Manhattan is up there for me. That probably originated from New York, you'd hope it's from Manhattan, otherwise the name means nothing. We're gonna take some rye whiskey. Today we're using Gospel Solera rye. I'm making our rye Manhattan with our 78 degrees Rosso vermouth. But you can use something either as classic as a Martini Rosso, or you can get into a bit more funkier flavors. You can move into German style vermouths where they're a bit more textured with more kind of botanicals, or you can kind of play it in the middle range with a Dolan sweet. We're gonna do two types of bitters, aromatic and orange and we're gonna stir it over ice and we're gonna garnish it with not an orange, but a cherry. For a drink that originates from America and in particular we're supposing Manhattan, we're using a rye based whiskey. Now rye gives a bit more bite and has a bit more kind of pepper and flavor to it, other than like a normal uh, American style whiskey or bourbon, which is a corn based whiskey with a bit more roundness and sweetness. I like it because it just gives you a little bit more complexity into the drink. Now we're gonna start by putting 60 mils of rye whiskey into the mixing glass. We're gonna take our Rosso vermouth or sweet vermouth and do 15 mils. And then after that, we are going to dump in two dashes of each bitters, two of the aromatic and two of the orange. And once you have all your ingredients in the glass, we're gonna grab some ice from our fridge. All right, so once you've got your ice, you wanna fill the mixing glass all the way to the top. Make sure that you have enough ice to fill it to the top to make sure that you get the proper dilution as well as the right chill for your drink. You can go slow or you can stir fast, but you only wanna do about 20 seconds. Now, while that's sitting there, you wanna grab your large coop. You wanna grab a Hawthorne strainer, which is, which is there. And then you're gonna strain into your frosted large coop. You can do it in a martini if you really like, but I like a big coop to make sure you've got enough space. And we're gonna pour it all the way and give us a nice little wash line, which is the distance between the spirit and the top of the glass. And then we're gonna grab a nice Morello cherry and just put it on the inside. You can get the uh, Morello cherries in syrup, which gives you a nice sugar content, or you can just get them as sour Morellos and use the cherries only. You can also, if you, really, if you don't like cherries, use a orange twist. But that is essentially your rye Manhattan. Mmm.